This shipping canal has connected the Mississippi River to the Great Lakes for a hundred years. But now, seven Great Lakes states want it shut down because of a fish. They breed like mosquitoes and they eat like hogs. They take over any water bodies that, that they inhabit. Some scientists have said that they're going to turn the Great Lakes into giant carp ponds. Like so many invasive species, the Asian carp was brought to the U.S. to do good, in this case to clean commercial catfish ponds, but ended up doing bad when a flood allowed them to escape into the Mississippi River Basin. They've taken over the river. In places in the Illinois River, the Asian carp and the silver carp make up 95%, up to 95% of the fish biomass. Now these things grow to be up to 100 pounds, over four feet long. These are huge, huge fish. Voracious feeders eating up to 40% of their body weight in one day, Asian carp are choking off the food supply for native species. The fear is the shipping canal will be their gateway to the Great Lakes. Once these monster carp get in the Great Lakes, there will be ecological and economic devastation that follows, and we have to prevent that. Seven Great Lakes states are suing Illinois because they are afraid these fish will swim through this canal, get past this electric barrier, and into Lake Michigan. But recently, the Supreme Court rejected a request for an injunction to shut down the canal. If Asian carp did get in, they would colonize tributaries and nearshore habitats in the Great Lakes. But nothing to stop them, carp would infect Canadian rivers all the way to the Arctic Circle. Though most in the Great Lakes area see the Asian carp as a kind of plague, for some it is a livelihood. I'll tell you what, if we do get rid of them, or they do kill them all off, or whatever the case may be, we'll be out of business. In order to process and sell all the Asian carp they catch, Mike Schaefer has hired 43 employees and has a dozen semis on the road and making deliveries. That's not counting as foreign exports. The biggest use that we have is for the manufacturing of gefilte fish with the Jewish customers in Israel. That's our biggest customer, but we're even going to Romania and uh, Singapore. Catching carp in rivers will reduce their numbers, but there's a growing consensus about the need to disconnect the Mississippi River from the Great Lakes permanently. For Assignment Earth, this is Bruce Burkhardt.